Hey everyone, welcome to the last part of the Europe trip vlog. Thank you so much for watching until now. Today we are going to explore Florence. First, we're gonna start off with a food tour. Our food tour guide also pointed these street signs out to us of Florence-based artist Clet Abraham, C-L-E-T, made these customized stickers for everything. So you can definitely see them throughout the city. Blue numbers are private. Everything is not blue, it's not a private house. Oh, this is blue? I don't know. That's blue for sure. That's blue. We also got lamb prodotto, which is cow stomach, and it was so good. Tomato with um, beef meat, and uh, the other one is, uh, I think, tagliatelle or it's a long pasta with basil. The grand finale obviously has to be a gelato place and this place was amazing. Our food tour guide told us that authentic gelato places should have their gelato relatively flat in their cases because gelato shouldn't be exposed to the air that much since they melt quicker that way. So go to places where gelato is relatively flat in their cases, anything with really high mounds of gelato is likely to be a tourist trap. By the way, I feel slightly cheated for not knowing this earlier, but you're able to order two flavors even if you're only ordering one scoop. So get those two flavors you know now because you watched this video. And now we're finally at the famous cathedral area. We're going to climb up this dome with many, many stairs ahead of us.
outside the dome. We sat down for a bit to rest and the sky looked beautiful. It looked like those paintings. So now I know that the clouds in those Italian paintings are truly based off of reality. Also based off of a friend's recommendation, we went to a restaurant called Il Profeta. We asked our hotel to help us book it a few weeks in advance. And let's just say this place is so good. Definitely recommend. We got a variety of dishes. The free bread was nice and warm. We got steamed octopus and artichoke. We got chicken pate, pretty good too. We also got the famous John Travolta pasta here. It was so good. I really miss it. We also got samples for those who didn't technically order it. Also got eggplant parm, chef's kiss, pasta with boar sauce, spinach for healthy reasons, and beef tripe. You think that'd be it, but no. We also ordered lobster risotto, which was kind of salty for all of us, but it was not bad. We got tiramisu for dessert and also pear in a pastry shell. So everything was pretty good. It's gonna be very windy, so I'm not sure how much you can hear this, but today is our last day in Florence. And then because it was our last day, we actually slept in today. First night of sleeping in during this entire week. And then later, so we basically got out of the hotel at 12.30ish p.m. A place for lunch that was recommended by our food tour guide yesterday and then tomorrow we're all flying early in the morning and we're all flying separately so Tiffany will be flying and stopping in Paris tomorrow Caroline will be stopping in Germany and I'll be stopping in Switzerland before heading back to the States and then calling it a day later today we're gonna go to the bubbly gardens heard that it's beautiful so hope we get some nice shots there and you know today we're all wearing dresses so this is my dress it's a very basic dress I've worn it many other times too you like to see but yeah I'm excited What do you think about today's lunch? Lunch was really good. <laughs> what do you think, Tiff? Really good. We actually ordered so much food, but we finished pretty much all of it. Nice. <laughs> Caroline's camera shy. I don't know why. Hey guys, so we just finished our last lunch. What did you guys think? It was really good. Yeah, we ordered a lot of food. We ordered what? Pasta. Soup, salad, class. soup, and mussels, two pizzas, a dessert, two lemon iced teas, and a coffee with cream. Yeah, so I ordered a lot, but everything was really good. Yeah, really What's your good. Favorite? I think my favorite was the pizza and the pasta. Yeah, I think we all think that this restaurant is really good. 
and we it was surprising because we went for the pizza but we I think we always stay for everything yeah we stay for everything else and we may or may not get more dessert later on during the day so we'll see for that but soon enough we're gonna go to the Boboli Gardens or however you pronounce that so I'm excited see you guys in the Boboli Gardens One here, another one here, another one here. Very confused. Look how big it is. <laughs> the bread was definitely harder than we thought it would be but it was definitely really good the flavors were really developed i also bought something from brandy melville but we also went to a supermarket and bought some cool snacks that we're bringing back to the u.s We finally had one last stop, which was dinner in Florence, and we were so tired we got on a tricycle and paid for him to take us to dinner. It was definitely worth it. Our feet were so sore. And he was also giving us a small tour of where we're going and what we were looking at. So definitely worth it. We came for the Florentine steak and it was definitely worth it. Would recommend. Thank you guys for watching so far. Essentially, Tiffany made it out, but Kelly and I, our flights got canceled while we we're on the actual plane, so. Caroline has hers rebooked to Bologna and I had to rebook mine coming out of Bologna too so we need to figure out a way to get there. Today has been a crazy day and it's not even over yet. We're gonna take the tram to the Florence train station and then we're gonna get on the train to Bologna and then we're gonna buy or get a hotel room somewhere in Bologna while we're on the train. We managed to get out of Bologna in one piece the next day. So here is an official goodbye and thank you for watching the whole video.